Hey, what's going on there guys? Nick here from Absolute MTG, and I'm back with another unboxing slash opening video. So today I have in for you guys another one of the Fantasy Crate openings. So those of you guys that are unfamiliar with Fantasy Crate, uh, they're a monthly subscription service for Magic the Gathering where you guys pay a monthly fee, and every month they send you a uh, variously sized package slash box of Magic the Gathering related items. So. Uh, we have another one in here today, and I'm pretty excited to see what we have inside. So we're just going to rip right on into it and see what we've got. So it looks like a play mat. All right, very sweet. I don't know which, what I want to take a look at first. It looks like we have some packs in here as well. So there are different um, actual subscriptions that you can get. Uh, there are like two of them. Um, one of them is more centered around uh, boosters and like giving you draft sets, and the other one is just like a more of a variety of different things. So it looks like we have some more tokens here. So there's a packing slip of things. Uh, we have some tokens, so some mountains. These look really sweet. We'll get an up close look at them uh, in a little bit here. We have a token pad, as always. Uh, we have the slip here, which I'll take a look at later. We have a larger life pad. We have another booster. And then we have our play mat here. Looks, looks very promising, and that seems to be about it. So, uh, let's see this play mat. I feel like this is going to be really sweet. That does actually look pretty sweet. Not amazing. It's it's not like overly impressive, but it actually is really sweet. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, so uh, playmats range anywhere between like ten and twenty bucks. Uh, for for something like this, I would, I would imagine it'd be like fifteen bucks or so, in terms of you guys that are trying to dissect for value and see how much value is coming out of. Uh, what you're actually purchasing here. Uh, so, booster packs. We have the Dragon Play Mat. Uh, we have the custom land tokens. Uh, life pad and custom token pad. Yeah, it seems about right. Yeah, very sweet. So, let's take a, uh, let's take a closer look at the mountains real quick before we actually get to opening up our packs. So, these look pretty... Pretty awesome, actually. Again, I wish that they had like actual real backs because I would love to play with these. Like these just look really awesome. But yeah, now now on to uh, on to the good stuff, on to the gambling here. So we have some packs of cons. And honestly, even though Fate Reforged is like out now, I'm still probably just gonna open up a bunch of cons just for the fetch lands. So Summit Prowler, Sagu Archer, Kill Shots, Barrage of Boulders, Singing Bell Strike, we have Shambling Attendance, uh, Rugged Highlands, Snow Horn Rider, we have Just Sky Banner, Blossoming Sands, River Wheel Aerialists, Mystic Monastery, Watcher of the Roost, and our rare is Just, uh, just Sky Ascendancy, so uh, <laughs> not bad at all. Uh, so, one blue, one red, and one white. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until the end of the turn. Untap those creatures. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. Very sweet. And we have a mountain and a goblin token. That's really awesome. So, really happy about that as our first pull out of here. Two, uh, I guess two fetch lines would be good for the last two packs. Uh, Alabaster Kirin, uh, Tormenting Voice, Naturalize, Rotting Mastodon, Singing Bell Strike again, Marty Hate Blade, Leaping Master, Scout the Borders, Bloodfell Caves, Just Guy Wind Scouts, Chief of the Scale, Become Immense, we have a Horde Ambusher, our rare is a Herald of Anafenza, not a fetch land, but a pretty cool card nonetheless. Uh, one two for one white, Outlast for three, and whenever you activate the Outlast ability, you get a one one white warrior creature token on the battlefield. You have a forest and a tip card. All right, and last pack here. Let's see if we can pull something really sweet. I mean, even if we don't, it's always a gamble with these. Uh, race, Tormenting Voice, Longshot Squad, 
Sage Eye Harrier, Bitter Revelation, Force Away, Mardu Banner, Treasure Cruise, rest in peace, bud. Uh, Thornwood Falls, Ifrit Weapon Master, Roar of Challenge, Seeker of the Way, nice. Frontier Bivouac, and our rare here is Jeering Instigator. Again, not the most impressive, but cool card nonetheless. 2 1 for 2, uh, more for 3. And whenever it's turned face up, if it's your turn, gain control of another target creature until the end of turn. Untap that creature, gain haste until the end of the turn. I actually didn't even realize that it was uh, only a if it's your turn clause on this card. We have a island and a tip card slash insert slash advertisement card. <laughs> so those are our packs here and those are our rares. Let's grab them. That's, well, Alabaster Kieran's not our rare. Herald of Anifenza is our rare. I didn't even realize I didn't put it to the top. So these are our rares here that we got for this month's Fantasy Crates. We got a playmat out of it and some other various uh, accessories to actually help us play the game. So if you guys are interested in subscribing to Fantasy Crate for their subscription service and if it's something that you would uh, like to receive every month, I'm going to have a link down in the description where you guys can check out their website and you can check out their service. If you feel inclined to do so, you can subscribe for it. If not, it's cool. I'm going to probably keep on opening these up every month anyway, so you guys will get to uh, take a close look at what they're sending every month and you get to evaluate their service for yourself. So until next time, guys, thank you for watching and peace out.